श्री सिद्धांत सरस्वती विजयते गौरीय गोष्ठीपति वंदे गुरुपद द्वंदम भक्त बिंद समित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदवनम मनोहर वाछाकुवश के पास सिंधु व्यवच पतिन पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखंकोति बाचाल पंगुंग लैत गिरी यत्कि पातमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्नभक्तिपदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरुभक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरिंचिनुत शरण भीता पुनतपाल भवदीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणारिंद यत्दपल्लवन खजंद मुनीछटा विस्फुर्जीत किमी गोद गोपवधुस्वदर्शि पूर्णागर सुसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयी कदा कि श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभुनेतानंद श्री अद्वैत गाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनुका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष भीशाबरो द्विज भरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत्प्रियक करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवित दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनीत भावाण सदा नरण गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भाग नारायणो प्रियमनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुषने लक्ष्मीजस् च वक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबी सिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 
प्राय न देव मुनयो सभी मौनम चरती बीजन न पार्थ निष्ठा नईता विहाय कृपना न विमुक्ष नान्यम तदस शरण भ्रमतो नुपे प्राय न देव मुनयो सभी मुक्ति काम मौनम चरती बीजन न पार्थ निष्ठा नईता न विहाय कृपना न विमुक्ष नान्यम तदस शरण भ्रमतो नुपे गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिला भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत भोपा परमंस जगत गुरु ही वॉज आस्ट वन डे बाय समबॉडी हैव यू सीन भगवान यू आर स्पीकिंग अबाउट भगवान हैव यू सीन भगवान इज आस्किंग वी चैलेंजिंग मोड ओप आर स्पीकिंग वेल I have seen Bhagwan or not? What it concern to you? You like to see Bhagwan or not? I have seen or not? You cannot believe if I say I have seen, you can disbelieve. You like to see or not? That you speak. I can show you. Gauriya Goshi Bhakti Se Sila Bhakti Se Dham To Sarvasati Ko Sami Jagat Bhopal Paramangsa Jagat Guru Said There This Life. You need not wait for another life. You can get Bhagwan, provided you have hundred percent faith in Bhagwan. Provided you are hundred percent faith in Guru Vishnu Bhagwan, this life you need not wait for another life. It can come out successful. Usually, those who are merciful sadhu. they always try to seek the benefit of bonded soul or all other selfish men they are thinking about themselves they are always thinking about themselves pollad mara speaking usually it is seen those who like to bhajan they go to a very solitary place and do bhajan themselves alone for their own benefit even they don't know this way they are doing bhajan of bhagwan or doing bhajan of maya they themselves have no idea this way bhajan possible or what do you mean by bhajan bhajan mean to seek the complete satisfaction of bhagwan that is called bhagwan that is called bhajan bhaj mean sanskrit word bhaj mean seva bhaj mean seva bhajan mean seva bhaj You are not doing any seva, nothing. You think you are Siddha Mahatma, you are doing Hari Nam solitary place. How we can keep this way? So, Pallad Maharaj speaking. Usually, it is seen people are interest, they are very self-interested. Having self-interest, they are going to solitary place alone. They are doing bhajan. They are seeking their own benefit. But I am not so selfish. i like to seek benefit for those bonded soul those demon boys those were small boys they are they are in maya you will have to best to keep up on them you have to deliver them prayeno deva munayo sabhi mukti kama maunam charanti bijane na parartha nishta noitan vihayo ke panan ve mukshe eko नान्यम तदस शरण भ्रमत निवास यूजली पीपल आर बिजी विथ देयर पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट दिस द थिंग इट इज एक्चुअली भजन बट प्रभुपाद वॉन्टेड टू से सॉलिटरी भजन इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन द स्टेज वाट चैतन्य महापू वॉन्टेड टू सो आल दैट इज द इजिएस्ट प्रोसिड्यूर बट नो बडी वॉन्ट टू फॉलो what chaitanya mahapu wanted to show us that is the easiest procedure no such easy procedure available popa writing in vaishnav ke this bhart that solitary bhajan is not not possible patishthare tare nirjanare ghare tab hari naam keval koitta 
you are going to do solitary bhajan to, to prove I am a great devotee. You want to prove that I am a great devotee, I am doing solitary bhajan. But Prabhupada feeling it is Maya. Where you can fly? You can go to forest. You are going to forest na, for solitary bhajan or here and there. But you forget that you are going to carry your mind. You are going to carry your mind with you, which is bonded. You externally can go to solitary bhajan. Uh, no problem all around. All solitary, nobody going to. But you yourself making problem. Your mind going to make problem. Your mind is the number one traitor. Your mind is number one traitor. Don't believe your mind. Don't believe. Your mind is number one traitor. Any time can cheat you and destroy you. Or you can break your dream of bhajan. Any time. It's not a matter of joke. Prabhupada many times used to say, all bonded soul." They all are the representative of Kala Krishna Das. We all are the representative of you know, Kala Krishna Das. We bounded soul can reserve the right to fall down anytime. So be careful. Always and every time try to get enormous kepa of Guru Vishnu. Without ucha, without which, no other way. Solitary bhajan, you can go, but you are going to carry your mind with you. And then mind is bonded so condition, your mind. Bonded condition, mind means you are externally, you are going to take your body in a solitary place. But mentally all matter there. Mentally all association going on. Externally you are going to show that you are in solitary bhajan. But mentally all your bad association going on. Always. So what is the utility? You just think, what is the utility? Externally you are going to take your body to solitary bhajan, but your mind is full of matter. Matter, 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 all dirty matter. How to eliminate that matter? That is the main. Preliminary bhajan means, preliminary bhajan means to eliminate your all matters from your mind. Right away. And replace it with the thoughts of Guru, Vaishnava, Bhagavan, all thinking. It is a actually preliminary effort. After that, Rupanuga Bhajan, Raganuga, that is after. Automatically, I can think, I can see Bhagavan, all Leela, everything of Prakita. That is after. But our preliminary Bhajan is to eliminate all matter from heart. All matter from heart. And what is the procedure? Procedure same, I repeatedly told. Satsanga Harikata. Sadhu Sange Krishna Nam Eimatra Chai Sangsar Jinityar Kono Vastu Nai. Follow. Sadhu Sange Krishna Nam. Alone you cannot do Harinam. With the association of Guru Vaishnav, you can do Harinam. If you sit in a solitary place, your oh, mind can go here and there. Big problem. So, our Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach the same thing. Very easy. So, why not you get the association of pure sadhu all the time? All the time. Sadhu Sangha is physically not possible, mentally. Physically, always not possible, mentally you can do. Now, you have the great scope to hear Harikatha, these so many things you have. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to say that you can do Hari Bhajan very easily. How? Those who are Gauriya devotees, under the, under the guidance of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, learning it very easily. That talking with devotees, joking with devotees, taking prasadam, while taking prasadam, while playing, while swimming, all the time, each and every activity, you can relate with Hari Bhajan. That 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to teach you. Even swimming, playing, giving water, playing, devotees, devotees, playing. That can be converted into bhajan. Whereas my staying in a solitary way, Hare Krishna, cannot be bhajan. The easiest way. Nam, Sankirtan, dancing, singing, swimming, playing, joking. Eh? All, everything Mahaprabhu wanted to show, you can convert into bhajan. All. Externally, you say, what they are doing? But it's bhajan. Each and every nilachal lila I can speak, then you can go mad, really so. A nilachal lila, what Mahaprabhu done? First of all, Mahaprabhu wanted to show us that Nam Sankirtan is the only way. And in Gauriya Madhu, you always speak. Param Vijayate Nam Krishna Nam Sankirtanam. Param Vijayate, there is a slogan. Only by doing, but Prabhupada speaking, what kind of Nam Sankirtan you mean? Prabhupada speaking. Nam Sankirtan you are speaking. What is your idea? Nam Sankirtan you are speaking, okay. Nam Sankirtan, okay. But what kind of Nam Sankirtan you mean? Prabhupada speaking, with Nam Sankirtan, when you are going to think about the Rupa, Guna, transcendental qualities, transcendental, you know, feature of Bhagavan, all Leela, all activities, that kind of Nam Sankirtan Mahaprabhu wanted to say. The first, first teaching you say, Nam Sankirtan is the only mode, especially in Kali Kal. No other way. And through Nam Sankirtan, you have the scope to meet with Bhagavan, to meet with all different Leela, Parikar, Vaishishta, everything. All you can see. That kind of Nam Sankirtan Mahaprabhu wanted to say. Through Nam Sankirtan, you can get complete success. You will have to make relationship with Bhagavan. After that, you will have to do Nam Sankirtan. Or without relationship, what Nam Sankirtan? Without relationship, you have no, you have no relationship with Bhagavan. That kind of Nam Sankirtan is useless. So what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to say, Param Vijayata Sri Krishna Sankirtanam. Because Sikhastakam, I can go on speaking one, and I can show how Mahaprabhu applying one one slok in his own life. Actually, Mahaprabhu wrote this Sikhastakam long ago. Long ago, Mahaprabhu wrote. But gradually, in, in Nilachal Lila, Mahaprabhu wrote much before. But one by one sloka, Mahaprabhu applied in his own life and going to show this, going to show. One by one, Mahaprabhu wanted to show. This way, Mahaprabhu is fine. Mane, he himself enjoying. He himself enjoying. He wrote, but now he is showing how to enjoy. Nayanam galada sudharaya, badanam gadagada rudhayagira, pulakvair nichitam bapu, kadatava nam ghone bhavishvati. It's very easy to speak, but you will have to bring all this thing in your own life. That is the success of your bhajan. You have to bring all this thing, what Mahaprabhu has shown. You have to bring all in applied form in your life. Then you can enjoy what is called bhajan. Otherwise, someday you can fade up. Ah, so tough. Useless. It's more practical to say this. Yes? Someday you can fade up. Eh? Maharaj, ta charinam, ta charinam. After that, you can get, like kampur, you can vaporize, evaporize. <laughs> Very easy, not so cheap. So this way, Mahaprabhu wanted to show that each and every your activities can be converted, converted into bhajan. Nobody can teach this way. Each and every action of Mahaprabhu. I didn't think it necessary to speak the slok. I told, by, I thought, uh, now Sarvagosai can come after. 
in this Leela, Sarva Goswami can come after some time. So, I cannot start it. Hello, Dunidhi, Sarva Goswami coming late. Not now. First of all, Mahaprabhu now getting at accommodation in Gambira Mandir and uh, going to expose his, you know, all secret Leela gradually, saying there, like, just like human being. Just like human being, Mahaprabhu doing all Leela. And uh, I already told yesterday that our Sarvabhu Bhattacharya, I already told that the Sarvabhu Bhattacharya feeling great affection. He don't know why he is feeling some attraction for Prabhu. Young man, 24 years, maybe 22, 24. So nice. Sarvam was feeling affection. He having no idea that he is Supreme Lord. I told you, na, even without any knowledge, you can feel attraction. I already told about Gopikas yesterday. He is feeling attraction. So he is suggesting, though you are young age, you cannot maintain sannyas. So better I can help you. Uh, I can recite Vedanta in front of you. You can go on hearing. This way you can protect your sannyas. Man, Sarvamo think, thinking is a bonded soul, nice looking, handsome uh, young boy. So he cannot man maintain sannyas. So he can uh, speak Vedanta and uh, he can help you. He can help uh, Mahaprabhu to grow Vairagya. And this way you can feel detachment for material world. I already told there was altercation between Gopinath Acharya and many examples there in Bhagavatam. But Gopinath Acharya not. Gopinath Acharya giving this example. But Sarvam Acharya not ready to accept. Subarna Varna Hemangas Chandanangadi. This sloka there in Mahabharat. Ityam nitri yoga jasavatarai, this loko there. But still, Sarvamata is not ready to accept. Anyway, then finally I told Sarvamata Jajo in fighting mood, Mayavad, all contaminated. Then Gopinath Jajo is speaking, well, someday you can, someday you can realize when you can enjoy the full keep of Ishwar. Then you can yourself realize, I, I can, cannot fight with you. Ishwar er ki pale shvaito jahare, shaito ishwar tatto jani pare pare. After that, one day Sarvamata Jajjo speaking, that you can come to me, I can recite Vedanta in front of you. In Mayabad Darshan, in Mayabad Bichar, they are always reciting this word. In Mayavad, if you go to Mayavad society, they are speaking. Yet those who are reciting Vedanta all the time, only coping is the only, only property in their life, they are really lucky. Vedanta Bhakcheshu Shada Ramantam Kopin Abantam Kholubhagya Bantam. What speaking? What speaking? Mayavad is speaking, Vedanta Bhakcheshu Sadaramantham, who is, who is, whose, mind is, whose mind is always roaming around Vedanta Bhakya. Oh, so nice. Vedanta Bhakya. Of course, they don't believe Bhagavan. Of course, they don't believe that Bhagavan is present. They think Brahma is one kind of uh, peculiar Siddhanta Vichar. Brahma is having no power, useless. Eh? Brahma having no power. Brahma, they believe that Brahma. There is only one. Or those who are Adyaitabadi, they think there is one and single Tattva throughout this infinity world. That is Brahma. Jiva, Brahma, Iva, no Paraha. Jivas are all Brahma. A material world is no, nothing is one kind of dream. Material world is nothing, is one kind of dream, nothing, no reality. This is the conception of man. They never believe 
that Bhagavan has his eternal fisher, eternal soul, everything. All his paraparnaliya, parikar, lila, vaishishta, harinam. They don't believe. They are the Brahma is one. Brahma has no power. If Brahma is without any power, if Brahma is without any power, who, who fully is going to worship Brahma? Whereas jivas, they have their power. Even tiny jivas, they have their power. Even TV, tiny jivas, though they are going to misuse this power. Okay. But jivas are free will. Free will jivas, eh? they can, free will men, they can do anything. So whereas all tiny jivas, they have their free will, everything. But you think Brahma is a matter. Brahma has no power, nothing. How possible? This Brahma Tattva, they are thinking. So Mayavadis, I can come to this point, you can discuss something. So that basic idea you can have. So they are speaking, those who are roaming around each and every sloka or Vedanta all around, very lucky. And only coping. They, do, they are developing detachment, oh, nothing, useless on this world. This world is useless. No reality. This may, you can see everything. No, no reality. It is dream. Dream? I can see this book is there, it's dream. Everything there, but they sing a dream. Strange Siddhanta. Actually, they cannot prove what they are speaking. What they are speaking, they cannot prove it. They can speak only. Bah, 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 bah. Only they, can, they cannot prove what they are speaking. So, actually, as per Gauriya Siddhanta, we know Bhagavan is decorated with infinity diversity. Though Bhagavan is Adhyay Gantattva. This is all Gauriya Siddhanta. That is why Mahaprabhu wanted to establish this Siddhanta in front of Adhyayita Gusai. After I can come. Badanti tat tat tabidam tat tam yad gyanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavani ti sabdate. What is in Bhagavatam? Badanti tat tat tabidam tat tam yad gyanam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavani ti sabdate. That is that adhyay gyan tat tat. That same adhyay tan to is identified by somebody, Brahma. Uh, yet another party, they are speaking Paramatma, Yogi, Gyan is speaking Anna Brahma, Yogi, Paramatma, and devotees, Bhagavan. Same. Like same Ishwar, somebody speaking God, somebody speaking Allah. Speaking, no? <laughs> same thing. Different names, but same. And be sure that Bhagavan is decorated with infinity diversity. Mayavadi going to speak this example that Brahma Satto Jagad Mitva. Brahma is the only truth and all Jagat, the material world is false. Dream. Follow. They are giving this example. How they are giving example? They are always giving this example. Sharpe Rajju Brahm. Sharpe Rajju Brahm. Rojute uh, Sarprabhram. Mane, there is one rope. There is one rope lying in the street. Take rope. Somebody coming in the night time. Hey, there is snake. Then another man coming. Oh, why you are here? Uh, uh, waiting. You are not going. There is snake. Huh. Let me see. He has his torch. Is putting torch. No, it is, it is actually... Rope, not sack. So Mayabad is speaking that like the conception growing, conception of snack growing in a rope. This is no material one. This is the wrong concept. They are speaking. That's why we think the material world is there. There are so many problems of these, so many things. But actually, it is wrong conception. I mean, somebody growing the conception of snack in a rope. This is example Mayabadi giving.
Mayavadi giving this example. But actually, Gauriya Vaishnava speaking, if there is no question of any snack in this world, if there is no question of any conception of any, if there is no question of any snack, if there is no snack in the world, if there is no snack, if there is no snack in this world, then how I can grow the conception of snack? Snack must be there. And I know, I have practical experience, the snack is there, snack is so dangerous. Gauriya Vaishnava saying, okay, maybe snack is not there. But concepts of, conception of snack is not false. Because somewhere there in the world snack is there. We have practical experience, snack can bite, we can die. So how we can say it is false? It is all wrong. So Mayavadi, their conception is totally useless. Brahma Sattva, Jagad Mitva, this material world is all like dream or false. This argument is useless. Useless argument. Sankarajajyo wanted to establish Mayavad. Actually, Sankarajajyo wanted to establish Mayavad by the order of Bhagavan. Sankarajajyo is Sankar himself. Sankaraha Sankaraha Sakshat. Sankaracharya is Sankaracharya is Sankar Bhagavan himself coming in the form of Sankaracharya. By the order of Bhagavan is coming and explaining Mayavad. It is the order of Bhagavan. You can go to this world. Those who are demonic character, you should divert their attention. You should divert their attention towards Maya. So they, they can never reach me. It's direct order of Bhagavan in Padma Puran. In Padma Puran, it is written, Sankar, you please go. Maya Vadam Asasasasram. You can go and preach. You can divert them. So the demonic character people, they cannot come to me. Divert them. They can go to other way. I cannot give them bhakti. That's why Sankarajaja is coming. But Sankarajaja is writing so many secret Siddhanta Vichar. Externally, he is writing all Mayavad. But I can show you so many sloka I have. All Sankarajaja is speaking. Sankarajaja is writing about Krishna, Leela, Krishna, Mahima. I have documents. Sankarajaja is writing so many things about Krishna. And it was the last advice of Sankarajajyo to his followers, but they could not follow. Very secretly, Sankarajajyo wanted to say that Krishna is the all in all. But they could not realize. They are concentrating in Brahma. But when Sankarajajyo was speaking, Bhajo Govindam, Bhajo Govindam, Govindam bhajo muramate, Sangprapte sannihite kale, Nahi nahi rakshati dunkriya karane. Sankaraj is speaking, Bhajo govindam, Bhajo govindam, Govindam bhajo muramate, Hey foolish mind, Hey foolish mind, You worship Bhagavan, Do bhajan of Krishna, Govinda, but his followers, they are in illusion. They cannot understand. This way, one day Sankarajajyo, giving advice to uh, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Chaitanya, hey, Chaitanya, you can do one thing. From tomorrow, you can sit in front of me. I can go on uh, reciting Bhagava, uh, reciting uh, Vedanta, and you can hear, I can protect you. Mahapo, out of humble, humble it is your great highness. It is your highness that you like to protect me. Okay, I can follow you. Whatever you say, I can know. You can go to see Jagannath with me, not alone. Who is going to protect you? Okay, I can go with you or with his son. He agree. Mahaprabhu not fighting. Then next day, Mahaprabhu uh, sitting. Mahaprabhu sitting. To hear Vedanta, and that place is there. Mahaprabhu sitting to hear Vedanta. 
and Sarva Bhattacharya Jo started explaining Vedanta. But what Vedanta? Mayabad Vedanta. He himself is Mayabadi, na? He himself Mayabadi. He only having the bichar of Sankara, Sankar Vedanta. There's no other idea. So he thinks Sankar Vedanta is the topmost. Brahma, Sattva, Jagad, Mitva, Jeeva, Ibamma, Ibana, Paraha. This kind of conception. So Mahaprabhu sitting and Sarva Mataji was sitting and one by one Sarva Mataji went on this kind of, that I already published. I already published one book long ago, Bengali. Hindi already translated and English uh, also, uh, Hindi not translated, English translated. But editing not done. Four years gone, five years almost, but no time to edit. So many seva have to do. This Nilachale Vedanta Vakshan here, what do you mean by Vedanta? What do you mean by Vedanta? Vedanta means all Veda, if you go and go through all Veda, all gist, Vedanta, I mean the final conclusion of Veda. Finally, finally what Veda is going to speak, the, finally what Veda is going to speak, that is, we are getting in the form of Vedanta. Vedanta means Vedanta, the extreme and final part of Veda. That is called Vedanta. Vedanta, Vedanta is the darshanic vichar. In, in Bharat Barsha, in Bharat Barsha, all different sampradaya. In Bharat Barsha, India, in Bharat Barsha, all different sampradaya. Ramana Sampradaya, Madhva Sampradaya, Vishnu Swami, Madhva Charjo, whatever, Nimbarko, <coughs> They are all having their own bhashya, I mean commentary on Vedanta. Vedanta is the topmost, Vedanta is the topmost philosophical description. Vedanta is the topmost philosophical discussion about, about Bhagavan. Externally you can find, like mathematics, you know, First of all, before learning mathematics, higher mathematics, we memorize all formula. It is the rules, all formula. Formula build up, formula. So, Vedanta is just like formula. Preliminary, I must speak, then I can enter into this book. After the different lila are there, I can also. Vedanta, actually, if you go, if you open Vedanta, you can find all different. One one formula, small small formula. And within this formula, you can find a big philosophical conception. Of course, not false philosophical reality. One one sloka. Yanma dasso yato. One sloka. Yanma dasso yato. What you, what you can understand? What you can, even those who are, those who are having uh, perfect knowledge in Sanskrit, if you ask them, Janma dasya yato, what do you mean? Shutesu sabd, shutesu sabd mulatvat, what you can understand? No, you cannot understand, what, what do you mean? One, one small, small formula. I mean, it is an indication. Only in the small formula, but within this big vast philosophy. Big, big philosophy. But ordinary people cannot understand. Those who are having clear idea, complete devotional idea, they can understand. So we will have to depend upon the commentary of Vedanta, otherwise we cannot understand. Cannot understand. On the basis of those formula, one one small formula. Eh? The, our commentator, Baladev Vidyavasana. 
Baladev Vidyavasan, there is one incident that in when our Gauriya devotees, there they are interested to do Govinda Seva in Jaipur, but all other sampradaya saying Gauriya sampradaya is not authentic, so we cannot allow them to continue Govinda Seva. We are actually having Vedanta Bhasya, Upanishad Bhasya, so Gauriya devotees they don't have, so they are not authentic. We cannot allow them to continue. They complain to king of Jaipur. King was in problem. Big fighting taking place. All different sampradayas, they are fighting. We cannot allow Gauriya Sampradaya. They, have no, they are not authentic. They have no Vedanta Vasya, Gita Vasya. On those days, on those days, it was a yardstick. One. If one sampradaya having Gita Vasya, Gita commentary, if one sampradaya having Gita Vasya, Upanishad Vasya, Vedanta Vasya, then they can get authenticity. Otherwise, no. Big fighting going on. After that, what happened? Then, our, from our Gauriya sampradaya, all our Guru Varga, Gauriya, Vishwana, all gone, all gone. Rup, Sanatan, Jeev, all gradually gone. That time, Srila Vishwanath Chakotibad was there. Srila Vishwanath Chakotibad was there, but he is very old age, very old age. Finally, Gauriya devotees took decision. Finally, Gauriya devotees took decision to send Vishwanath Chakotibad to Jaipur to solve this problem, as he is very old age. He took decision that I can send Baladev Vidyabhushan, the appropriate representative of Gauriya Mat. Baladev Vidyabhushan, who accepted Vishwanath Chakravati Bhad as his Siksha Guru. Damodarji was his Guru in Shemananda Parivar. Long history, I cannot speak. Long history. Damodarji is the, actually the guru of Baladev Vidyabhushan. But Siksha Guru, Vishwanath Chakoti. Under the guidance of Vishwanath he took lesson of uh, Gita, uh, Bhagavatam, everything. So Vishwanath Chakoti took decision together with all Vaishnava representatives. Uh, well, we can send Baladev Vidyabhushan. So Baladev Vidyabhushan is going there. He is having one, only one coffin, no clothes, nothing. Only one water pot, nothing. So big, so great Pandit. So great Pandit, number one. Jiva Goswami, Bhad, Baladev. You cannot even imagine, inconceivable. The Baladev Goswami is going there, representative. All they are fighting, you have no commentary on Gita, Upanishad, Bhagavata, eh, Vedanta. So, Baladev Vidya was speaking, within seven days I can show you, we have Vedanta Bhasya. Actually, in Gauriya society, we know Srimad Bhagavatam is the direct Bhasya of Vedanta. We think Srimad Bhagavatji Mahapuran itself is a complete explanation of Vedanta. That's why Gauriya devotee didn't think it necessary to make separate Vedanta. They think it's all. Otherwise, Jiva Goswami Pad easily make. Jiva Goswami Pad wrote so many things on Vedanta. But total Bhasya he didn't write. He wanted to break Siddhanta, which are all operant, but so many things. He could easily write. But he didn't think it necessary to transgress all Guru Bhargava, previous. Because they didn't think it necessary. Because Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana is a, itself is a Bhasya. Bhagavad Ji Mahapurana is a complete explanation of Vedanta. So why should I take time? But finally, now they feel it is necessary. So Baladev Gita told, within seven days, I can show you Vedanta Bhasya. Wait. Now within seven days, he is coming to Govindo and praying, Govindo, I promise them within seven days, I can show Vedanta. Now it is up to you what to do. Now it's up to you. It is next to impossible. Within seven days, 
within seven days, all Vedanta, he gone mad. All Vedanta are explained within seven days. <laughs> seven years is not sufficient. Baldev Gita was told to Govinda, now it's up to you what to do. Then Govinda appeared in dream. Come on, I can speak, I can go on speaking, you can go on writing. Govinda himself appeared in front of Baladev Vidyavasana. I can go on speaking. The commentary of Vedanta, you can go on writing. The Baladev Vidyavasana is the topmost Pandit. Govinda go on speaking, he's writing. Within seven days, all Vedanta complete. Miracle. Within seven days, all Vedanta, Gaudiya Vedanta complete. That is why the name of Gauriya Vedanta is Govinda Bhashya. The name of Gauriya Vedanta, the name of Gauriya Vedanta is Gauriya Bhashya. Gauriya Bhashya. Hey, Govinda Bhashya. Because Govinda told himself. So now, Baldev Vidyavasan got victory. Everybody miracles. They gone mad. They, they say, you recite Vedanta. Baldev Vidyavasan explaining, they gone mad. Impossible. Inconceivable. Impossible. This way, Vedanta within seven days, he compiled and give and getting the power, I mean the right to serve Govinda. Our Rupa Goswami part discovered Govindaji. Why we cannot get the right to serve all three deities? Sri Govindo, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, all discovered by Gauriya Acharyas. All discovered by Gauriya Acharyas. That's why even Radha Damodha is in Jaipur. Govindo, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, and Radha Dham, all seva organized by Gauriya devotees, our Gauriya devotees. Because so now actually, our Sarvam Vartyacharya now going to explain in front of an, uh, Siman Mahaprabhu, Supreme Lord, and he is going on explaining Yanma Dasso Yato, one slope, from there it is written. Mahaprabhu not speaking anything, only uh, with bent head, with bent head, only hearing. Yanma the so yato, one slope, I am in the beginning of Vedanta. If you open the first chapter, you can find the first slope. Yanma the so yato. What do you mean? The same slope is explained already in our Bhagavadji Mahapurana. Follow. Bhagavadji Mahapurana is written. And it is written in formula. As a formula, yanma dasso yato means creation, destruction, creation, maintenance and destruction. Creation, maintenance and destruction done by whom? He is a supreme, but not speaking clearly. Only indication. Yanma dasso yato. Wanted to indicate the Supreme Lord. Hello. Yanma dasso yato. Atha, janma dasso means janmo, adi, asho, kasho, vishasho, yato. Janmo, srishi, janma means creation, maintenance, and destruction by whom is going on. Who is that? Indication is Supreme Lord. Yanma dasso yato. Follow. This way explaining and Mahaprabhu day, day by day not speaking anything, only, uh, only hearing and looking down and only hearing. Continuously. Not speaking even a single word. Not even a single word. Yes, no, good, bad, nothing speaking. Only Mahaprabhu sitting and Not speaking. After uh, seven days or eight days, 
Sarvamateja is speaking. Do you understand? Sarvamateja is speaking. Do you understand what I say? Yes, understand. But when you speak the formula, I understand. But when you, when you explain, then I am in confusion. Huh? What do you say? I understand when you speak the real original formula. Janmada sayato shutestu sadhu mulatvat. That I understand. But when you explain, then I am in confusion. What do you mean? Yes, I mean so. When you explain, then I am in confusion. In confusion. But when you speak the original slok, then I understand. Oh, really? If you don't understand, foolish, why you are not speaking to me? That I don't understand you. You are not speaking. You are only hearing. How I can understand? You understand, not understand. How it is possible? Then Mahaprabhu started opening his mouth. Previously, a gentleman, very humble. Not speaking anything. Now going to open the sword. Now going to open the sword. <laughs> Hey, now open. Mahaprabhu is speaking. You see, when you are speaking the slok, main slok, that is very clear to me. But when you explain, I am in confusion. Hey? What do you mean? This kind of adversity. Not, not adversity actually. Basdev Goswami wrote Vedanta. Basdev Goswami wrote Vedanta with some special conception. When Vyasadeva Goswami is writing one one formula, Vyasadeva Goswami only can understand what is written, what I have written. Mahaprabhu speaking, who has written this formula, Vedanta Sutra, who has written this Sutra, I mean Vyasadeva, he can actually feel, understand what he means to say. All other people, out of their fanciful attitude, cannot understand. Follow. Then Sarva Mataji become agitated. He feels insulted, no? He cannot even imagine in dream. Even in dream, he cannot imagine somebody can go against me all over the world, not India. All over the India means all over the world, because where you can find Pandi. All over the world, he is enjoying the sovereignty all over the world. All over the world means all over India. That time there was no excess, no plane, nothing. <laughs> all Pandit all over India, they confess that Sarvamati is the topmost Vedantis. Even Baranasis, those are big, big Pandit. They, in the name of Sarvamati, they don't speak anything. In the name of Sarvamati, they bend their head. Now, that Sarvamata is feeling insulted, feeling agitated. Huh? One young man of 22, 24, he is so much adversity going against me. Eh? Mahaprabhu speaking, actually, your meaning, uh, meaning is very clear of the slok. But you, like Mahaprabhu giving example, like in Sanskrit, we can say, Gangayam Ghosapalli. Ganga, one example Mahaprabhu giving. Gangayam Ghosapalli. What do you mean? What do you mean? Literal meaning mean? Gangayam Ghosapalli mean? Inside, inside Ganga there is Ghosapalli, Ghost, Ghost village. Gosha, Ghosh, 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 coward man. Their village in, in Ganga. Is this true? Inside Ganga water, how we can find? One village can be there? One village, how? Inside Ganga, how? In, uh, uh, Ireland can be there in different Nikor, Andaman, Nikor, Ireland, this, that. This is separate. But in Ganga, there is Goshpali, one village is there. Then what is the meaning? Literal meaning mean Gangayam, Goshpali. In Ganga, there is Goshpali. So you will have to apply your brain. Gangayam, Goshpali mean. Surely, surely at the bank of Ganga there is Gospali. It's common sense. Gangayam Goshapalli. Gangayam Goshapalli is a meaning. Surely at the bank of Ganga 
There is Gosh of Ali. To understand. Mahaprabhu is going to give this judgment to him. The Sarvam Bhattacharya feeling upset. Then Sarvam Bhattacharya started giving a different kind of argument. And Mahaprabhu, with very polite mood, went on giving different kind of judgment. Upanishad. That is there in Vedanta Bhakshan here. There you can find Sarvam Bhattacharya. First of all, I already told I cannot speak this thing because Sarvam Bhattacharya is suggesting you are a new sannyasi, young age. It is your duty to hear Vedanta continuously from me so that you can enter into detachment. You can understand it by Ragya. So I can go on. That is the beginning. So the sloka I already told. Vedanta Bhakti Shusada Ramanto Bhikshana Mantre Na Chatushta Mantro Ashokam Antakaranecha Charanta Kopi Nabanta Kaluhagavanta. Sarma Vatej is speaking. Chaitanya. Actually, you are from our sampradaya. You are from our sampradaya, no? Yeah, you are Mayavadi. Sarvamataja is thinking Mahaprabhu is a Mayavadi Sannyasi. Really, Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu took sannyas from uh, uh, Keshav Bharati, who is in the line of Mayavad. Mayavad Sannyasi. But Mayavad Sannyasi, what do you mean by Mayavad Sannyasi? Mayavadi, they are always speaking Aham Brahmasmi. Mayavadi, what speaking? Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahma. Mayavadi, what speaking? Aham Brahmasmi. I myself is Brahma. But you are Brahma, it is not wrong. But your conception is wrong. This word is not wrong. You are Brahma means you are the part, you are the particle of that Brahma. Infinitesimal. You are the infinitesimal part of that Brahma Vastu. Brahma is havoc, infinity. Follow. Like I am going to take one drop of water from the ocean. I am like I am going to, so foolish, Mayavati. I am going to collect one drop of water from the ocean. One drop. After speaking, this is ocean. Are one drop you are collecting from ocean. How I can see is ocean? At the same time, you are not false. He is ocean, really. He is ocean, ocean water. That this is the word. This is conception. You are Brahma, this is wrong, not wrong. This word is okay. But your conception is completely wrong. You cannot deserve that you are complete Brahma. You are part in particular. Like fires, one fireplace is there. In winter season in England, here they are, they are using fire. Every room, they have fireplace. The fire is there from, from fire, spire, from fire, fire spark can come out. From fire, fire spark, spark can come out. That doesn't mean I can, spark is complete fire. Spark is coming, qualitatively all same. Fire is, it is all qualitatively fire. Similarly, one drop of ocean is surely one part of ocean. But I cannot say, I cannot say complete ocean. Similarly, Mayavadi, they have their wrong conception. They think, we ourselves is Brahma. I am Brahma. I myself is Brahma. So, ah, uh, I'm Brahma Sri. Their conception is wrong. They are one part of that Brahma. Bhagavan speaking in Gita, Mamai Bhangsha Jiva Loka Jiva Bhuta Sanatanaha. Bhagavan speaking in Gita, Mamai Bhangsha. Achivas are the part, are, and my, my part, they are part. Mamai Bhangsha, they are my parts. Mamai Bhangsha Jiva Loka Jiva Bhuta Sanatanaha. They are all coming from me. They are all my parts. Part doesn't mean I can make Bhagavan dust particle and after that one and part. 
If you think part mean, I can make Bhagwan make a dust particle like ginger, dry, absorb dust particle, ginger powder. Not that. Bhagwan can never be <laughs> converted into dust particle. So angsa mean, angsa mean, not direct part of Bhagwan himself. Mamai ba angsho, my part. This doesn't mean that Bhagavan wanted to say my part means directly my part. Bhagavan, if one dust particle from the lotus feet of Bhagavan itself complete. One dust particle from Vaikuntha Jagat itself complete. Purna Vastu. Whereas in you can you can you one side one side you can take keep all infinity world. One side you can keep all infinity material world. All infinity material world, one side. And one side you can keep one dust particle from, from Golok Vrindavan or Vaikuntha. Then, one dust particle from Vaikuntha Jagat much heavier than this. Because those who are actually, those are coming from Maya, illusory energy. Shakti Parinati, na? Morning time I was speaking, na? This whole word, transformation of Shakti. So, this is coming from Bahiranga Shakti, whereas dust particle directly coming from this positive word. Dust particle, what I am putting here, but from Vaikuntha or from Gulogda, it's from positive world. And this is someday whole infinity world can vanish, cannot stay. Destruction. So it is not permanent. It is not false. Whole world is not false, it's but not permanent, temporary. Exhalation and annihilation. Sometime expressing, sometime. Jusheka nishe shito kalo mathavalambo, jivanti loma vilaja jagadandanatha, bistono mahanasa ihu jesu kala visheso, govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami. By the nisha, exhalation, all infinity world. After that, all going. All going inside. This is the condition. So, this way, Sarvam Bhattacharya is fighting with this war. With this war. That actually, Mayabad, Mayabadi thinking this way, but this conception is not perfect. They are Brahma Bastu. Qualitative, qualitatively, they are all Brahma Bastu. Qualitatively, they are all Brahma Bastu. But they are not complete Brahma. Qualitatively, they are Brahma Vastu, that's right, that's not wrong. So, this Mahaprabhu wanted to say that your conception, you are speaking Aham Brahma Smi, this is one kind of false ego. That's why I can discuss tomorrow that Prabhupada speaking that Mayabadi, they think. They are developing deta topmost detachment. Papa speaking, those Mayavadis, they are thinking we are developing topmost detachment in the whole world. But Papa speaking, they are Yashit Sangi. They are actually Yashit Sangi. They have no detachment. How? That you will have to hear. Nicely. Pope speaking, they like to capture, they like to capture the designation of Brahmo. Brahmo has one chair, but Mayavadi like to throw Brahmo and to capture that. Like somebody want to throw Gurudev and to capture that seat. Their, their target is towards that seat of Gurudev. I have seen in Practically, in one society, I don't like to speak name, one sannyasi 
coming to Gurudev, that side of river, I cannot speak the name. Name I cannot speak. He is coming to Gurudev with one paper and speaking, uh, Gurudev, you please sign in this paper. And Gurudev is now doing bhajan. He is, uh, what paper? No, no, sign. But by chance that day, that paper was there, that declaration given Gurudev that you are the next Acharya. By chance he was caught. Eh? What is it? Eh? This? No, I cannot sign this. Big fighting going on. Target is there, how to capture the seat of Gurudev. Really so. I am very sorry to say. All the, all the target is the chair of Guru Padbhat. Actually, Mayabad Bichar. This is called Mayabad Bichar, actually. This is actually Mayabad Bichar. Where is Guru Padbhat? How I can capture the seat of Guru Padbhat? This is a big problem. So, Prabhupada speaking, those Mayabadis, they are the topmost sense enjoyer. Externally, they are withdrawing, externally, they are withdrawing all their sense organ and everything from matter. But internally, they are very much interested to capture the seat of Brahma. The topmost, you know, sense enjoyer. So, Sarvam Vatajajo now speaking, you can try to concentrate in this word, Vedanta Bhakkisya Sada. This is the Chaitanya. Actually, this is the success of your life, you know. Sarvam is speaking to Chaitanya. Chaitanya. Actually, this is the success of your life. What? Vedanta Bhakkisya Sada Ramanta. All Vedanta Sutra, your, all your mind, or you can roam around all, each and every Vedanta Sutta. That is the success of your life. And by begging something, somehow you can maintain your body. Bhikshanna matrena chatushta banto. You can get satisfied with whatever alarm, I mean, whatever bhiksha you are getting. Okay, you can maintain your life. Whatever bhiksha you are getting, okay, satisfied. There by Ragna. Vedanto Bhakshishu Sadaramanto Bhikshanna Matrena Chatushta Manto Ashokam Anta Karane Charanto No desire, nothing inside, all clean, and you can roam very nice, you can feel. But they don't know, Annavilas is there. They say like this Ashokam Anta Karane. Charanta Ashokumane, there is no dissatisfaction, there is no dissatisfaction inside heart, always your mind roaming around each and every Vedanta Sutra, so nice, no tension, nothing. And only Kaupin is the only property. You are very lucky, very lucky you are, because you have no tension. But, Pope was speaking, that the topmost sense you are. They are dangerous. They don't know. They are Joshi Sangha. Joshi Sangha they are. Topmost Joshi Sangha Baba speaking. So they are speaking. Then Mahaprabhu with polite moods again. Okay, that is your highness. You, are, you can advise me uh, how to guide my... You can give guidance to me. Okay. Okay, you are my guidance, you can go on speaking, I can follow you. Eh? Previously, before, before Mayabad, previously, before Mayabad, before Mayabad, I cannot say Vedanta con conception is new. I can never say Vedanta con conception is newly built up by Sankaraj. Some conception was there, but in Bharat, when Sankaracharya wanted to preach Mayavad Baso, that became very famous. When Sankaracharya started preaching this Mayavad Baso, gradually this Mayavad Baso became so tasty. 
so tasty, so catchy, because people like to feel, na, oh, I can become Brahma, oh, very nice, it's very tasty. Like somebody preparing Harikatha in such a, with sauce, very tasty, oh, nice, his Harikatha is very, oh, he is speaking very hard, oh, it's not, they like to get tasty Harikatha. Somebody went to mix something, so that it become tasty. So, in our Vaishnava society also, somebody is very nice, ba -ba -ba -ba, nice philosophy. He himself has no background. Oh, very nice philosophy. Oh, very nice. You can give garland, give money, Maharaj, you kippa karo, kippa karo, give me kippa. He himself having no kippa. He himself having no kippa. But like, so Kesab Maharaj used to say, at present, situation is so dangerous. Kesab Goswami used to say, at present, situation is so dangerous that common people, so foolish, they are going, they are expecting something from such a source where that object is not there. At present, foolish society want to get such an object which is not available there. You ask, give me, give me, give me. I am not there. Not at all there. How you can give? Why you give me? All people going to sacrifice their valuable life and to the lotus feet of those cheaters. I'm bound to say, cheaters, cheat. But still okay, they are getting famous. No, very nice. You go to Vrindavan, in the name of some idiot, road name. I say, Maya, your magic spell is really one Mayavadi. <coughs> Dangerous. Who wanted to identify himself as Gauranga? He came here. And our traitor society, some society, they give rent, they give lakhs of rupees. They allow that Mayabhati to speak Harikatha inside their temple. I don't like to name. I, I protested that how you Gauriamat, how you allow that Mayabhati from Vrindavan allow Harikatha here? I, I am not, he is doing. I say, why you give? I, no, no, Maharaj is responsible. They all pushing each other. I say, Maharaj, why you allow? No, no, actually, I am not. He is responsible. He given. I say, why you? Will? No, no, Maharaj is responsible. Nobody confess. Only for money. Mayavadi. Who identified himself as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They are followers still today. Taking is the avatar of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Follow. In his name, Government going to approve, government going to approve the name of one road. One road. Even today there is no road in the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Can you imagine the plotting of Maya? Even today, after 550 years back or more than that, but there is no name. There is no road in the name of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Bhagavan. That is the plotting of Maya. In the name of that Mayavadi, follow, he left body. Follow, he, he left body. One of his disciples pushed him from the rooftop, he fell down on ground and died. Purposely, throw him. All rubbish. This is not temple. If, you, if I speak the name of that temple, if you go there in evening time, you can speak too. In the evening time, even our Gauriya devotees, they are going there. Oh, so nice lighting. Uh, ladies and gents dancing like a bar. This is called their bhajan. Even our Gauriya devotees, they are going. Oh, so nice lighting. A condition. There is a condition in the name of his a road already there. So nothing to speak. I am only shouting, my blood going on. I am expecting somebody can realize someday with this expectation. Only with this expectation of shouting. Now at present, people are less interested to accept absolute truth. This is also absolute truth. That at present, people less interested to accept absolute truth. This is also absolute truth. There is no false. So, 
Actually, at present, testy philosophy people can accept. People cannot accept absolute truth. So, on those days, I mean, uh, long ago, maybe uh, 2000 years back, or oh, 1000, Sankarajajwa appeared, not 2000, 800, 800. Uh, around that, I forget exact date. Uh, they appeared. And now, Sankarajajo Vedanto was so famous, very tasty. Mentally concocted idea, na? Are you a Brahmo? Oh, I can become Brahmo. So it's very more practical. I can do Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi. You can go on chat. No Kishanam. Aham Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. This chanting. They are also doing mala. You can find mala with them. What they are doing, Japa? Krishnanam? No. Ambra must be Ambra. And all their conception, right from the beginning to end, if I go on speaking, you can laugh. Ha ha ha. You can laugh. <laughs> you can laugh. If I go on, tomorrow I can speak one or two examples about their Guru Tattva. You can go on laughing. Ha, ah, they are strange. Yes. But still, they are busy with Mayavad. I can go on explaining anyway, so that you can realize what is the actual explanation of Vedanta. We are coming from the direct. Baladev Vidya wasn't speaking also, Govinda spoke. It is Govinda Vashya. But when Mahaprabhu is going to give direct evidence, directly, it's more interesting. We can go on discussing anyway. Uh, from tomorrow I can go on discussing anyway. So, Praye no deva munayo shabi mukti kama maunam charanti vijani na paratho nishtha naita na vihayo kipana na vimumuksha yeko nanyam tadasasaranam brahmato nupase manchakalpatavasi kipasin vajpati dhanam pavan. I am bound to stop today. I never wanted to stop. What to do? I have to go. One second.